Okay, we're live on Facebook. I am so excited to be here with you today. Paper, I'm gonna talk more about paper. First, I'll introduce myself. I'm Natasha Zellerbach. I am a green champion. I am a certified sustainability consultant and my mission is to empower everybody to know that we can do this, we can, save our planet, we can do that with little things such as saving and protecting and preserving and having reverence for paper, which is what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Last week I was talking about that coffee cup that I spilled into my scrap paper drawer, which is right down here. It reminded me of, well, what is all this paper? And then I remembered a research paper that I did on the story of paper. And that's what I'd like to share with you today. My real mission with this today is to share my passion for saving paper one scrap at a time and to just have more and more reverence for it because of the situation that it has for us. The three P's of sustainability are a framework that I love to use to understand sustainability. Today, I wanna to use it to tell you about paper and its impact on our world. I'll start with people and we'll talk about the paper and pulp industry I'll go into the planet and talk about the environmental impacts that paper has. And then under the prosperity part, we'll talk about when we that when we choose to, to purchase cheap paper, we're not really paying the full fare because the paper industry has not paid the full fare because they're externalizing costs. And I'll talk about that in more detail as we go forward. So people, let me introduce you to the paper and pulp industry. In the United States, we are, or because we're in the United States, we're the biggest consumers of paper in the world, imagine. And since the industry is one of the largest sectors in the world, the pulp and paper industry, has an enormous influence on global forests. Forests and the paper industry, well, the, the paper industry includes products such as office and catalog paper, that glossy paper, uh, tissue paper, and paper packaged, paper-based packaging, which we see a lot of. This is interesting that paper uses 40% of all the industrial world and all the industrial wood traded in the world, 40%. So paper does have a huge impact on our planet and on our economy. Now I'll chat about the impacts on our environment that paper has. And this is under the planet part. So we talked about people and the industry. Now we're gonna talk about the environmental impacts on our planet. They're significant. Um, they're, the industry uses paper and water and, and, and energy. The pollution is significant. It releases, this is a great statistic, 200 million tons of toxic pollution every year. The forests, which are Mother Earth's lungs, are being deforested, and this is a major cause of climate change. There's a significant amount of paper waste. In fact, the paper waste accounts for 40% of the total waste in the United States. Imagine. And even though there is a significant amount of recycling, 31% of paper ends up in landfill and paper then in landfill is a long-term emitter of greenhouse gases. 
and there is some recycling of paper and it can be, but even though there is recycling, recycling can be a source of pollution because of the sludge that's produced in the de-inking process. Now let's talk about the prosperity, the three of the three Ps. We'll talk about prosperity, the last of the three Ps. When we purchase cheap paper, and our paper is cheap, it's cheaper than it was years ago when it was made from fabrics instead of wood, we're not paying the full fare because the paper industry isn't paying the full fare. And they do that by what's called externalizing the cost. So what is an externalized cost? I talked about that last week, but I wanna talk about it a little bit more. Imagine a corporation that has one bottom line, only its profit. It doesn't take into account the people or the planet. So it's one bottom line is its profit and this corporation wants to make as much profit as it can. That's what it does, that's its nature. And to do that, it reduces the, all the costs that it can. So it looks at how can it increase its profits and what expenses can be eliminated? Well, since they wanna minimize costs and maximize profits, they found that they can reduce their costs by externalizing costs such as the water and the energy, and they don't have to pay for the pollution, they just dump it into the air. Wikipedia says external cost externalization is a socioeconomic term describing how businesses maximize their profits by offloading indirect costs and forcing the negative effects on the third party. The indirect cost we're talking about now is deforestation and water and pollution. And we are the ones that the third parties that Wikipedia is talking about that has the negative effects um, dumped on us. So those are the three Ps. People, I introduce you to the paper and pulp industry, the planet, we talked about the environmental impacts paper has. In prosperity, we talked about us not paying the full fare because the paper industry isn't. So what does that mean to us? What does it mean to me? Well, for one thing, I've got a, a drawer here filled with scrap paper. I love my paper. I do use paper on my printer and I got paper up here. I'm reading my notes from it. And when I'm finished with the paper, I figure out how I can reuse it. I love scrap paper pads, which I make. And I'd love to hear how, how you are doing that. And I'll put these things in the notes. So again, please join with me in having a reference for paper and enjoy using the three Ps of sustainability as a perspective holistic perspective for understanding sustainability. And I'll be talking about that some more because I love the three Ps and I enjoyed sharing with you today about paper. And thank you for joining. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.